Hi, I'm Dr. Birkenstock, owner of Dr. Birkenstock Skin Body Health in both Mandeville and New Orleans, Louisiana. We service the entire state of Louisiana and are licensed also in Florida and Alabama. By telemedicine or Zoom conference, we're able to service anyone in the United States of America. So we're happy to deliver news and information to you every week, um, and we uh, come to our YouTube channel, Dr. Birkenstock Skin Body Health. So all of our prior webinars and informationals are on our YouTube channel, Dr. Birkenstock Skin Body Health. We talk about a wide variety of topics from anti-aging, skin health, body health, um, tips to sort of cut down fat and cellulite and other things to spark memory in, in terms of the proper supplements and foods that you can eat to turn on your body's best processes because we all want to live a life of vitality and optimal health. So today we were going to talk a little bit about how's your sugar sugar. Sugar has become one of those undefined devils in our diet and we fight this in terms of what is a good sugar, what is a bad sugar, and can they really have an impact on weight? Well, what a study found over in Yale is by simply cutting out the white foods in your diet. So we'll come back to this in a minute, but your basic five whites are sugar, white potatoes, pasta, white rice, white bread. Those, those foods, when they break down, are just like eating a piece of cheesecake or swallowing several tablespoons full of sugar all dangerous to the body. So the sugar turns on the cortisol check, cortisol, free fatty acids, and then the making of fat. So we really want to cut down on the five white sugars in our diet. But are those the only sinners? No, they're not. So when we're thinking about sugar, we also need to think of some of the sugar synonyms that the food manufacturers put on our food labels and it sort of disguises the word sugar but there's still sugar. Um, so first of all when we're thinking about sugar and is one sugar equivalent to the other sugar we know that in any of the forms it's all a bad thing. So Dr. Collins of Harvard said whether it's white sugar, brown sugar, white brown rice, molasses or honey, don't kid yourself. There's no such thing as a healthy sugar. So when we're going to use any type of sweetener or sugar, we want to use it in very much moderation. So if you want to cut down on sugar, let's get used to reading our food labels. We can all look at these products like a Wheat Thins or a Chex Mix or a Reese's PC and we might say uh, we're going to have a treat. Well, really read your labels because there are, there are some that are more innocent than others. For example, a graham cracker or a vanilla wafer has a lot less added different sugars than some of these noted here. So in the Reese's Pieces, we have almost five different types of sugar. The Wheat Thins has four, and the Chex Mix has five. So what are these? some of these names? We will post this on our website. It's also going to be mentioned here and in our YouTube videos. But there are many different synonyms and names for the word sugar. Without a further ado, before I forget, please like and share to be entered into a uh, uh, a drawing for a free bottle of our Sugar Smart. The first five clients that like and share will get our product Sugar Smart. Sugar Smart enhances metabolism naturally. Uh, and, and it also uh, it enhances metabolism and cuts down on food cravings and helps us to processed food. It's a $58 value, so please like and share. We'd love to send you one of our Sugar Smart products for free. If you click in the description below, it'll send you to our product store. It's at skinbodyhealth.com. And uh, 
We'd love to see you like and share. We always appreciate that. And we certainly appreciate the audience that visits us every week. So what are some of those other words for sugar? Well, corn sugar, dextrose, fructose, glucose, high fructose corn syrup, honey, maple syrup, agave syrup, invert sugar, levulose, maltose, maltodextrin, molasses, sucrose. So if you're reading a label, for example, let's say the wheat thins label, you may see sugar and then the next ingredient, corn syrup, and then a few ingredients down the line, maltose or maltodextrin, and then sucrose or molasses. That's five different sugars. They're five sisters just called by different names, but they all break down into sugar. As I alluded to in the beginning, we want to avoid simple carbohydrates. Well, what are simple carbohydrates? Those are our five basic devils, bread, rice, pasta, potatoes, and sugar. So if I'd like to get a potato in my diet, please go to the yam or sweet potato because colored foods are always broken down into less sugars than white foods when we're talking about a basic food group, not a processed food group. Um, so as a rice, we would want to go to those blacker rices or those colored rices and small amounts because those have more of the nutrients still within the rice. A plain white rice, they actually cut off the nutrient part, the color part, to make the white rice. So they're literally throwing away the nutrient part and keeping the part that is not good for you. Same thing with our white breads where you're getting the white part of that flour and the good part, the whole grain, is actually not part of that bread anymore. So when we want to focus on whole foods in our diet, those would be like vegetables, colored vegetables, fruits, colored fruits, lean meats, poultry like chicken or turkey, and fish, all of your fish unprocessed grains like bulgari or steel cut oats or old-fashioned big flake oats not the ones in the packets with the added sugar or the maple flavoring and such legumes garbanzo beans green peas green beans legumes nuts and seeds walnuts pecans sunflower seeds pistachio nuts these are all of our whole foods that while they do have some natural carbohydrates in them, they're so much better for us. Even simple cheeses and milk, if you do choose to have uh, some milk in your diet, have natural sugars in them. If you do drink milk, you, you may want to consider a goat milk or a sheep milk. Higher quality milk and less sugars and fats, by the way, in that milk. So when we do cut down on sugar, sometimes we go for artificial sweeteners. We want to avoid the artificial sweeteners like the Splenda, Aspartame, Stevia, Truvia. Of course, there is the better and the worst of these, um, but the artificial sweeteners, there's a big controversy that actually uh, a lot of the schools, the colleges and universities are doing studies and tests on right now because these artificial sweeteners are sweeter than natural sugar. They don't contain calories. So we used to think that that would uh, sort of erase the bad effects of the chemical exposure. But what we now know is that these artificial sugars are confusing the brain and the brain thinks that it's actually eating sugar and can turn on some of the insulin resistance or bad pathways that lead to increase in cortisol, increase in inflammation in the body, and eventually increase in fat. Um, some of the better ones would be like a stevia or a truvia, a moderate like a splenda or an equal, and very low lying would be a sweet and low or an aspartame. So with the artificial sugars, it can actually intensify your cravings for more sugar, making it difficult to stick to a no sugar diet so that after sweetening your tea or your beverage with 
a stevia, truvia, or any of the artificial sweeteners, you then are coming back at a later time and engaging with a cookie or brownies or crackers even because it turned on that craving process. You may uh, want to be careful of those sweetened coffees and specialty coffees and sweetened teas, even fruit juices can turn on that sugar process. So what can you do if you're experiencing intense cravings for sweets? Well, two products I'd like to bring to mind. Chromium Synergy. Chromium in any form helps block sugar cravings. So it's a great thing to add to your supplement ornamentarium if you're needing to have something to help you process sugar and to help you block the sugar cravings. Magnesium is also a wonderful product. High levels of magnesium cut down cravings for sugar and specifically chocolates as well. This week we'd like to just show you our sugar bundle. Our sugar bundle inc includes Sugar Smart, which helps us metabolize quicker and better all foods, especially sugar. Um, Chromium Calm, which calms down the central nervous system in a light supplement sort of a way and helps cut those cravings for the carbohydrates. Our Life Poet. Our Life Poet is another sugar metabolizer, does a great job. We recommend these three for someone that's really fighting sugar issues. Though that bundle is normally $145 for the next month, our Sugar Smart bundle will be 20% off, which brings it to $116. An excellent bundle that really helps sugar cravings, metabolism, helps you burn energy smarter and quicker. If you've got a specific craving for sugar and chocolates and sweets, you may want to add or use our Magnesium 3. Our Magnesium 3 powder helps with three different types of magnesium and those three different elementals of magnesium really fight the sugar craving process. Remember to watch your food labels because food labels are so important and remember those words. Again, we will uh, put this on our website for you, all the different sugar demons. So not only sugar, but corn sugar, high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, fructose, glucose, honey, maple syrup, agave syrup, levulose, maltose, maltodextrin, molasses, and sucrose. You may have noticed a theme in all of those sciencey sounding words. If a, if a word ends in O-S-E, O-S-E, and it's on a label, that is a, one of the many types of sugar. So whether it's glucose, fructose, sucrose, all of those ending in O-S-E, we know those one of those demon sugars that are just another disguise for the word plain old sugar. And actually some of the chemical forms are much worse than even the plain sugar forms. So click in the description below to, to go to our product store. We'll open the floor for any questions. If I eat Splenda, am I likely to have any more complications with craving sugars? Yes, yeah, so if you eat Splenda or any of the artificial sugars, for that moment it might seem to savor or fulfill that sweet tooth, but what we find is often later that surge, that craving center in the brain gets even more heightened and stimulating, stimulated and you wind up grabbing either a candy bar, a brownie, or pasta. So it can trick you into a food that you think might be good, but it's really still searching for the sugar in that food, or a white bread sandwich, or white rice, etc. So yes, the artificial sweeteners, we're seeing more and more evidence that are really even heightening and turning on the craving center even stronger. So that, that's actually a great question. Just for an example, a Starbucks Bucks Tall 12 ounce Frappuccino, 260 calories, saturated fat 7 grams, but sugar is 38 grams. That's equivalent to a daiquiri. So that can blow out your diet for a whole week. 38 grams of sugar is huge. 
the calories don't look impressive at 260. You f find, hmm, may not be doing something so bad, but the saturated bad deadly fat at 7 grams coupled with the sugar at 38 grams makes that Starbucks fra Frappuccino a poor, poor choice. A black coffee with a little bit of, of almond milk or a little bit of milk um, with a, a tad of honey or sugar, just a touch, would have been a much, much better choice or treat in this instance. So please like and share our videos. It's always a pleasure to meet with you guys. Our next uh, video will be on hair restoration. It'll uh, be in a couple of weeks on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, same time, same channel. If you've missed any of our videos on hair, skin, anti-aging, weight loss, bioidentical hormones, being the best you can be at the, any point in your life, please go to our YouTube channel, Dr. Perkinstock Skin Body Health. Like and share. Love to give you a bottle of our Sugar Smart. Thank you so much for joining us.